Hello everybody and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'm going to be making for you Caribbean lamb shanks. This is going to be made in my style how I like to do it and I hope you all enjoy this one. We're going to show you the ingredients what we're going to be using for today and there is a shopping list at the beginning of the video that you can read and see the ingredients what we use today. Right our ingredients what we're going to be using today are we've got some thyme salt some cumin powder curry powder black pepper flavour enhancer we've got some all-purpose turmeric some pimentos bay leaves and cumin powder we've got our scallions or spring onions tomatoes and some garlic we've got onion we've got our carrots which we've already peeled We've got two chicken stocks. We've got some plain flour. We've got our scotch bonnet. We've got some Irish potatoes. We've got some water. some olive oil some browning and our lamb shanks so we're going to show you the process now right so we're going to start the process we've got our pot on a fire and we're going to add our olive oil to that I'm just going to let that heat through a bit. And meanwhile that's eating through, we're just going to start to prep our, our veg or our seasonings. We've got our carrots, what we're going to cut in about an inch. So that's our carrot, you want to leave them a bit chunky. The tomatoes as well, I'm just going to cut these into fours. So we've got our oil, oil heating up meanwhile. So we've cut our tomatoes into fours. And then we're 
we're going to cut our onion into rings. In, to spit into a quarters or into chunks rather. And our garlic, what you what you see there, we're going to put through. We're going to put that through the garlic crusher. Not ready for our potatoes yet, so I won't peel those now. And you want about about that much of your Scotch bonnet, which is about a quarter. I'm not going to be using the seeds in the, in this one. So that's most of our prep done. So we're going back over to our oil. We're just going to just going to splash that around a bit. Just gonna try and see if I can get this a bit more steady. It likes to rattle around a bit. And then our lamb shanks now, we're just going to put these in and just let them get a little bit of colour on the outside. This is just to get a little bit of colour on them. Just gonna do this, and then once we've got a little bit of colour on them, then we'll come back to you. Right. So we've got these to where we want them to be. So we're going to add our, add our water. We put our gravy browning in there. So we're just going to pour that out in. We're just going to let that come to the boil. So we're going to be slow roasting this one in our oven so it's going to be in there for quite quite a while so i'm just going to let our water come back to the boil so you can see they're looking nice already Right, so we've got that come up back to the boil. So we're going to start to put in the, some of our ingredients. 
We've got half of our red pepper going, which is a scotch bonnet, which is going in. So we'll just let that boil, boil in for a bit. going to add our seasonings in so we've got our pimento our bay leaf our coriander powder our all-purpose and our turmeric so we're just going to give that as a shake together we're just going to put that in the rest of our season which is salt, thyme, cumin, black pepper, flavouring nuts and curry powder. Let's give that a shake together. We're going to put that in. So that's all our seasoning gone in. And because this is going to be cooking for a long time and it's going to be turned a couple of times, you don't need to worry too much about getting your seasoning. So if you're liking this video, please remember to like, share and subscribe and tell a friend to tell a friend. If you want to leave a comment, please leave a comment in the comment section. We do get back to you on them. And I hope you're enjoying our videos, what we're putting out. If there's anything that you would like to see us do, please let us know and we'll see if we can do it for you. Right, so we're just going to let that come back to the boil for a bit. Shouldn't take too long. Right, that's coming to the boil. So we're going to put in two of our stock cubes. We're using the gel ones. So we're just going to let that dissolve out a bit. can smell the flavours everything coming from this now we're going to crush our garlic in Right, 
so we've got all our garlic in there. Just going to give that a stir in. And what we're going to do, we're going to put in the rest of our seasonings, which is our onions, which we just kept in rings. Got our tomatoes and our spring onions. Gonna spread that around a bit. And we're going to put in our onions and our carrot. So we've got all those in. So we're just going to let that go for a little bit and then we'll be back with you. Right, so we've washed and peeled our potatoes. So we're gonna cut them in about six pieces because these are gonna be cooking for a long time so you don't want them too small. So you just want them in about those that size pieces and you're just going to put those in. That's all our ingredients in now. So we're just gonna make sure our potatoes are somewhere where they can cook. So we're going to put this in our oven now on gas mark 170. We're gonna cover it as well. It's going to be in there for about two hours and then we're going to take it out and show you what it looks like. Then we're going to add something else to it and then we'll carry on with the process from there. So we'll see you back then. Right everybody, so it's been in the oven for, for two hours now. You can see it's still tough because you want when it's done you want it falling off the bone. So we're going to add our add some of our flour to it now. This is just to make it a bit thicker. So you just put that in and then you stir that in. And that's going to cook out. And we put our meat back in its place. You can put your carrots and everything back down there. You 
can see everything's coming along nicely. And just put some flour on this side. That should just help it to thicken up a bit. See everything was coming along nicely. Just moving some of this around. If you want, you, if you, want you can turn over your meats as well. see everything's coming along nicely. So it's starting, starting to thicken up and everything now. I'm going to put this back in the oven for another 2-3 hours and, or until when we get the softness when it's falling off of the bones. Right so once we, it's got to that stage we'll come back to you right it's been another two hours we've taken it out as you can see our meat is falling off the bone I'll turn it over you can see everything's nice and cooked in so we're going to plate this up in a minute then we're going to show you what it looks like on a plate we're going to have it with some cheesy mashed potato so when we play it up we'll come back to you right everybody so this is our lamb shank caribbean style done how i like it we plated it up with some cheesy mash and some little vegetables i hope you like this one and if you want to see something else cooked please leave a comment in the comment section we will get back to you on them and remember to like, share and subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend and hope to see you all on the next one. Thanks for watching this one. Thank you.